hola, buenas noches. Estamos en el Festival de Terror de Molins de Rey. Eh, esta noche tenemos a Martin Barijol, el productor de Dunderland. Oh, he hasn't made. Um, he, he's been working with a documentary and uh, and short movies, more uh, not not uh, directly comedy. There, there's always things you want to change. Um, we uh, what we wanted to do is kind of make a feeling that the place the the actors are at is. Uh, That, that they are affected by the evil spirits in the place. And uh, we hope we achieve this, that the audience feels that in the movie, that there's something uh, spiritual, something that is there affecting the people there. And we think we achieved it. And the main character, she kind of goes through a process that she, uh, she gets stranger and stranger that her character changes through the movie. Well, the, the Norwegians and through Scandinavia, we have a lot of history with witches and trolls and holders, a lot of mythical creatures and spirits that has been a part of the history way back. And uh, a lot of people want to try and explain this and get this expressed out in movies. Well, uh, the, uh, we have um, we were actually contacted by a psychic that told us that uh, some uh, there's actually a funny story. Uh, the main actress uh, Laura in the movie, mm. uh, the first time she opened the door to walk into the barn, there was a crow that uh, flew down and uh, you know uh, not attacking her but flying around. And she, she says, she just says to the bird, okay, you don't want me to go in here? And uh, well, she walks in. And later that day, a psychic called us and said, we should not talk to the birds. Even our sound technician uh, in the start of the shoot, he picked up, uh, uh, he couldn't get like a really good sound in the barn. Just uh, like his scratches and noises and everything. And when he walked outside, everything worked perfect. And he walks inside, and it works. Well, it didn't work well, but after a week or so, it started working good. Well, it didn't. I don't think it would. I would say it would cost us more to make a move when it's this cold because uh, uh, we are used to extreme temperatures on and off in Norway, and we had. Uh, We had a sponsor that sponsored us with uh, really thick, warm clothes. This is uh, a well-known history in Norway that uh, this is the, the last witch hunt in the northern history. Uh, so this is uh, in the history books and everything. And uh, all the um, other things about uh, uh, the, the farmer that uh, killed his wife and child uh, and hung himself in a barn. Uh, it's also history. Uh, it's not documented history, but it's well known throughout the valley or mm. the people living there. We are working on a few scripts. Uh, one is more into a thriller, and one script we have in our hands is a lot more bloody horror, <laughs> <laughs> more gore.
I'd like to say hi to everyone uh, following uh, terrorweekend.com and uh, hopefully you'll see our movie one day on uh, video on demand or DVD and maybe you'll see our next movie as well.